from Vipin Sharma Biology Tutorials. In this video, I am going to tell you the most awesome trick to learn all the various examples of all the hormones that are secreted by pituitary gland. So firstly, as we have done in the previous video, we are going to talk about the location. That what is the location of a particular endocrine gland. After that, we are going to talk about which hormones are secreted. And we will talk about it anatomical features ke mein, that what are the different parts of that gland also right so the very first thing is location so if we will make a brain like that okay then here is the hypothalamus okay so there is the hypothalamus which is present in the diencephalon of forebrain after that there is a pineal gland which is even much smaller than the hypothalamus somewhat here there is a bony cavity which is called as cella tersica so in the cella tersica which is basically a bony cavity the pituitary gland is present right so it is present in the cella tersica and it is attached to the hypothalamus via some stalks and we have already talked about that in the previous video this is the same diagram Okay, I am going to elaborate it once more so that you can get very good concepts of hypothalamus and pituitary. Right? So this is about the location that it is present in the cella tersica which is basically a bony cavity and it is attached to the hypothalamus like this with the help of stalks. So this is the hypothalamus. Okay, this region. Now there are neurosecretory cells. We know that very well that there are hypothalamic neurons. Okay. So, what the neurosecretory cells and they will be secreting some sort of hormones which need to be transferred to the pituitary because pituitary is under the control of hypothalamus. Okay, so hypothalamus kaise control karega? Hypothalamus will send the hormone to the pituitary so that its activity can be controlled. For example, GnRH that is gonadotropic releasing hormone will be sent to the hypothalamus to the pituitary so that gonadotropins can be released such as FSH, LH and all those things. We will talk about that. Okay. Now, if it have to stop the pituitary, it will be giving some sort of inhibitory signals. Okay. Inhibition ke signal dega, for example, somatostatin. So, somatostatin will stop the release of growth hormones or the growth factors from the pituitary. So, pituitary is basically under the control of hypothalamus because they are connected. The posterior pituitary is directly connected to the you know hypothalamus with the help of secretory neuron itself. This is the neuron which is secreting some hormones. The hormone will travel from the axonal region and it will come to the nerve endings and it is released from the nerve endings. That nerve ending is already invaded or embedded in the posterior pituitary. So there is a direct connection and this is the stalk that we are talking about. Right? Ye wala hai direct connection. Because there is no gap in between that. This is the direct connection between pituitary and hypothalamus. Now, the anterior pituitary is also connected to the hypothalamus but via a portal system. So, th there is a bunch of vessels which is present over there. Jis hain bolte hai, portal system. Jo ki connect karta hai hypothalamus ke secretory neurons ko anterior pituitary se. For example, this is synthesizing hormone. It will come axonally and it will be sent to the portal system. Okay, because hormones can travel via blood. So, the hormones can blood mein release blood. Now, that hormone can be taken via this portal system to the anterior pituitary. So, the anterior pituitary is connected to the hypothalamus with the help of a portal system. We have already discussed all these things in the previous lecture. I am just revising you. The second important thing is posterior pituitary is in direct connection via the neurosecretory. Uh, cells of hypothalamus okay so that's why it is present in the cella tersica and it is connected to the hypothalamus with the help of stalks that is the very first point now if we will talk about the structure then in last video we have talked about the anterior and posterior pituitary and there is a median line right so there are approximately three parts but we consider only two anterior and the posterior they are basically called as adenohypophysis adenohypophysis and neurohypophysis okay these are the two parts adenohypophysis and neurohypophysis 
so adeno here a is present it means that it will be somehow related to the anterior pituitary anterior is also having a so adeno hypophysis or anterior pituitary kahin na kahin linked hai so that adeno hypophysis is also divided into two different regions pars distalis and pars intermedia ab dimag lagao bahut hi simple cheez hai intermedia matlab in between so this medium line can be considered as intermedia or the medium line right so is hum intermedia bolenge second one is pars distalis and adeno hypophysis is starting from a it means that it is linked with the anterior pituitary pars distalis is nothing but it is the anterior pituitary okay anterior pituitary hum dono ko mila ke nahi bolenge we are only calling pars distalis as anterior pituitary this is not a part but in case of humans pars intermedia and pars distalis are fused with each other both of these portions are fused with each other and that's why we call them as a single part that is the adeno hypophysis so adeno hypophysis contains pars distalis pars intermedia but anterior pituitary is only pars distalis not intermedia because it is the intermediate line which is fused with the anterior pituitary in case of humans right काफी ऑर्गेनिजम्स में सेपरेट भी हमको दिखाई देती है सो दे विल सिक्रिएट सम सॉर्ट ऑफ हार्मोन्स वी विल टॉक अबाउट दैट लेटर सो एडिनो हाइपोफाइसिस पार्स इंटरमीडिया पार्स डिस्टेलिस पार्स डिस्टेलिस इज द एंटीरियर पिटूटरी पार्स इंटरमीडिया इज द मीडियम लाइन एंड दे बोथ आर फ्यूज्ड इन केस ऑफ ह्यूमंस नाउ द सेकंड वन इज न्यूरो हाइपोफाइसिस न्यूरो हाइपोफाइसिस इज ओनली सिंगल चैंबर सिंगल पोर्शन व्हिच इज बेसिकली कॉल्ड एज पार्स नर्वोसा okay pars nervosa which is nothing but the posterior pituitary okay so pars distalis is the anterior pituitary pars nervosa is the posterior pituitary and that will also store some hormones now this word is very important it will store and secrete some hormones in the last video i have told you difference between synthesis and secretion secretion means sending out for their work to their desired location it means that these hormones are secreted by the posterior pituitary but they are not synthesized here they are synthesized in hypothalamus so the hypothalamus will be making some sort of hormones which are directly sent to the posterior pituitary via this axonal connection and they will be stored here after that for their work they will be secreted out from here that is the main concept ye samajhna hai yahan par question yahan se put up hote hain because these are stored and secreted in posterior pituitary but they are not synthesized in posterior pituitary question aapko assertion reason mein synthesize karke de dega aur wahan par aadhe bachche galat kar denge okay so basically let me revise the whole concept to you the pituitary is present in the bony cavity called cella tarsica and it is connected to the hypothalamus via axonal connections okay that's correct after that it is divided into two different part adeno hypophysis and neuro hypophysis adeno hypophysis contain two different parts as well pars intermedia and pars distalis pars intermedia is this medium line pars distalis is the anterior pituitary and both of these are fused in case of humans posterior pituitary is you know a part of neuro hypophysis which is called as pars nervosa and it stores and secrete two very important hormones now let me tell you the examples only we will deal about the functions of all these hormones in next video jo samjhane ka concept hai wo main board pe samjhaunga jo likhne ka hua sirf basic wo hum writing pad pe kar lenge so basically let me introduce you to nine or 10 new hormones jo shayad aapne sune ho shayad aapne na bhi sune ho unke naam main aapko yaad karwa dunga with a very simple trick okay so what is your aim basically what are you preparing for you are preparing for pre medical test that is pmt so it is obviously your aim ki ha bhai pmt mein to jhanda gaad denge hum aur jhanda gaad denge to puri duniya bolegi wa yaar bachche ne to kamal kar diya and that is the simple trick basically whenever pituitary came into your mind just make a picture of your dream that is pmt so the trick is basically pmt flag एफ एल ए जी पी एम टी फ्लैग पीएमटी में तो झंडा गाड़ देंगे राइट पीएमटी फ्लैग 
एंड वाई वी हैव टू डू दिस बिकॉज पीपल विल से वाव आफ्टर क्वालिफाइंग प्री मेडिकल टेस्ट राइट पीपल विल से वाव द स्पेलिंग इज अटल बिट चेंज बट पी एम टी फ्लैग इज है सेम स्पेलिंग सो वी हैव टू डू आवर बेस्ट इन प्री मेडिकल टेस्ट पी एम टी में झंडे काटेंगे जिससे दुनिया के मुंह से बाहर निकल जाए सो वट डज दिस पी एम टी फ्लैग मीन्स पी एम टी फ्लैग आर द हॉर्मोन्स विच आर सिक्रेटेड बाय एंटीरियर पिट्यूटरी सो पी मीन्स प्रोलेक्टिन ओके पी आर एल प्रोलेक्टिन लेक्टिन सिंपली मीन्स इट इज रिलेटेड टू द मिल्क इजेक्शन सेकेंड इज एम दैट इज एम एस एच मेलेनोसाइट स्टिमुलेटिंग हॉर्मोन टी मीन्स टी एस एच थाइरॉइड स्टिमुलेटिंग हॉर्मोन थाइरॉइड को स्टिमुलेट करने वाला एफ सिंपली मीन्स एफ एस एच फॉलिकल स्टिमुलेटिंग हॉर्मोन ओके इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ गोनाटोट्रॉपिन सो वेन एवर द सिग्नल कम फ्रॉम हाइपोथेलमस विद इन द फॉर्म ऑफ जी एन आर एच दीज गोनाटोट्रॉपिन आर रिलीज एल सिंपली मीन्स एल एच ल्यूटिनाइजिंग हॉर्मोन विच इज अनादर गोनाटोट्रॉपिन A simply means ACTH that is adrenocorticotropic hormone. Adreno means adrenal, corticotropic means cortex. So it will stimulate the adrenal cortex, adrenal gland के cortex को ये stimulate करेगा to synthesize some hormones which are basically glucocorticoids. Okay, we will talk about that in uh, in adrenal gland in detail. So P for prolactin. M for melanocyte stimulating hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, adrenocorticotropic hormone and growth hormone. Growth growth hormone को कौन रोक रहा था यार? Somatostatin. Okay, inhibitory signal, right? These are the most important hormones secreted by the anterior pituitary. Right? Here I have marked M. In circle because M is secreted by the median line. M for medium, M for median line. So pars intermedia will secrete the M, which is also a part of anterior pituitary because they are fused in case of humans, right? But अगर आपसे कोई अलग से पूछ ले, which is the single hormone that is secreted by the middle line or pars intermedia? M for middle, M for MSH. So MSH will be secreted by the, you know, pars intermedia. So P for prolactin, M for MSH, T for TSH, F for FSH, L for LH, A for ACTH, G for GH यानी कि growth hormone. These are the important hormones which are synthesized and secreted by the anterior pituitary. Now posterior pituitary, there are three alphabets. Wow. So V simply means vasopressin. Okay, vasopressin. O means oxytocin. Now what does A stand for? Vasopressin is also known as ADH, that is anti-diuretic hormone. So basically you have to learn that. आप भूलो ही ना कभी तो नाम ही उसी से याद कर लो. Wow, it means that V and A are somehow connected. V for vasopressin, A for ADH, and O for oxytocin. These are the three most important, or we can say two because दो नाम तो एक के ही हैं. two important hormones which are stored and secreted by posterior pituitary not synthesized here they are synthesized by hypothalamus and sent to this place with the help of neuronal or axonal connections right in the next video we are going to talk about functions of each and every hormone secreted by pituitary so i hope that this trick will help you a lot pmt flag wow these are the hormones in a particular sequence pmt flag anterior pituitary wow posterior pituitary m which simply means middle it will be secreted by the pars intermedia so if you really got this video then hit like button share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for sure thank you so much guys for supporting me aur isi tarike se support karte rahiye thank you